Hello everyone. Today is a very first video of law series and in this video we are going to start with the introduction to law of contract. The first question that arises is what law of contract is? See, the law of contract it talks about the legal rules. Right as you can see in the next slide, the first point the law of contract as i'm saying it talks about the legal rules that you know the legal rules that are related to promises their formation their performance and their enforceability these terms which i have used we will obviously discuss in the coming up videos since uh, this is the introduction to the law of contract so we will only discuss what is law of contract and the details as i'll uh, keep posting the videos you'll get to know so uh, in the first point, as you can see, derived from Latin term contractus. It means that this term contract, right? It is derived from a Latin term contractus. And it means to work on contract. Okay. Now see, this law of contract, it is also based on another principle. And this principle, uh, that is pacta sunt servanda. It is a principle of international law. And this principle means that pacts must be kept. That means the parties who have entered into pacts, they should perform it. They should perform the promises of the pacts. Right? Also, there are various writers like Sir William Anson. Okay, they say that, you know, the law of contract, it talks about the rights and duties of parties who enter into a contract. Okay, it means that, you know, this law of contract, it will not tell you about the absolute rights and liabilities of the parties who are entering into a contract. But the law of contract, it will lay down the essentials of a valid contract. Okay, like what are the essentials of a valid contract? And we will discuss in the next video, what are the essentials of a valid contract? Like, you know, there should be offer, there should be acceptance. There should be intention to create legal obligations and so on. So, we will definitely discuss in detail in the next video. Okay. So, coming back, the law of contract, it lays down the essentials of a valid contract. Okay. It means that, you know, uh, the contract should be a valid contract. Now, the third point, it says that the parties are free to settle the terms of contract. Now, what does this mean? That the parties are free to settle. See, it means that we are talking about mutuality. Right? And what is mutuality? So, mutuality means equality of rights uh, between the parties. That means there should be meeting of minds of the parties. And this meeting of minds of the parties, it is called consensus ad idem. Okay? Uh... Like in contract, we can say there is, you know, consensus ad idem. That is meeting of minds. Okay, the, the parties uh, by exchange of offer by ex and acceptance of offer, they know each other's consent. Okay, so a contract, it is not unilateral. Okay, it is bilateral. Now, the law of contract, it is contained in the Indian Contract Act 1872. Okay, and this act extends to whole of India except to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And you know, this act is uh, mainly based on the English common law. Okay, that uh, consists of judicial precedents. And uh, you know, the act is also not exhaustive because it is not dealing with all the branches of the law of contract. Right, there are various other separate acts which deals with, you know, other contracts like uh, sale of goods, partnership, negotiable instruments and so on. Okay. And it is also very interesting to know that, you know, before 1930, the Indian Contract Act contained uh, provisions relating to, you know, partnership, sale of goods. Okay. But uh, in today's time, the general principles uh, of law of contract, they are contained in section 1 to 75 and section 1 24 to 238 deals with special kinds or you know we can say specific kind of contracts like indemnity bailment pledge 
agency guarantee okay uh, also remember that you know uh, uh, you know where there is no statutory provision okay uh, in existence in the indian contract act then the you know courts in india they have been generally guided by the common law of england all right although uh, english common law permits the indian contract act but every new development of the common law may not necessarily fit into the scheme and words of a statute right then obviously it will be the duty of the courts in india to read the statute naturally right uh, all right so uh, today it was the introduction class as to what law of contract is and in the upcoming videos i'll discuss with you what are the essentials of a valid contract okay uh, what is the importance of a written contract along with uh, the landmark judgments the kinds of contracts suppose you know valid contract what is a valid contract there is a voidable contract what is voidable contract what is a void contract okay so all these terms and all these topics we are going to discuss in the upcoming lecture so thank you so much